Hey, I sneak it up on me. <laughs> Get over here, I got stuff to tell you. Caught me down in my diggings, boy, while I'm trying to eat. Why do they call it pork and beans? They should call it beans and a little piece of fat. Look at that, that's nothing. I got a whole bunch of stuff to cover with you. I gotta go shoot it up. Caught me during my lunch break. Man's gotta keep his strength up if he's gonna be a miner. What better way than tar tack and beans, boy? It's like mama used to make. <sighs> All right, let's get serious now. I got a whole bunch of stuff to cover. I got, ain't got time to be joking. I'm gonna get suited up and we're gonna get on back there and do some digging, boy. And I got a bunch of stuff to tell you. So you know what I'm gonna say, huh? You better, so come on. Let's go! You want to lose weight, boy? Just be a gold miner. This is that new drift. I don't know why Slim wants me digging it, but we're digging it. Now, did you see this? Did you see it, boy? It's a new segment of track that we just put in. See how it curves around there like that? All right, I'm gonna explain how that works. Well, in the old days, they used to use what's called a Jim Crow. The two outer arms would hold onto the track, slide the track through. Then the centerpiece, you crank on it and spin it. As it spins up, it pushes. And as it does so, what does it do? That's right, it bends the track like that. You can bend it at any angle, but it takes a lot of finesse to get it just right. Now down here, we do things a little differently, boy. We use these right here, they're called track gauges. We line the track up, we mark it every six inches, then we put it in a tube bender, and then we bend it along there. You can see our marks right there. There's one there, there's one there, one there, there's one there, and there's one over there. And then for couplings, we use inserts right here to hold the track together. And you can see it works pretty good. Oh, what else are we gonna talk about? We're gonna talk about this thing right here, son of Jim. You know what that is? Ooh, you better. That's a black light. You can't find gold with a black light. Gold is not fluorescent. But what you can do, boy, is find indicator minerals. And that might lead you to it. And it can also show you vein structures down in the hard rock mines. That way you know where the load is and where the load ain't. Where the country rock is and where it ain't. It's a really good tool for you prospectors out there. They make two different types of black lights. Long wave and short wave. Now this model right here, it does both and I'll leave a link down in the description where you can get this thing. I highly recommend you getting a short wave because you're going to be able to see most of your minerals with a short wave and the ones that are important. Now the really good ones are companies like Way Too Cool and I'll leave a link down below for that too. Now some of the minerals that are associated with gold is what? Fluorite, calcite, and you get scheelite. That doesn't mean that there's going to be gold there but there's a lot of gold producing districts where those minerals are closely associated with the deposit and you need to know this stuff when you go out into these hard rock mines if those are associated with your deposit because it's not a one mineral fits all type of scenario now you can also use it to collect gemstones i've seen a lot of people do that they go out at night and collect gemstones so i'm going to show you what some of these look like because i know that's what you want to see what we'll do is later on make another video and we'll go out on a field trip and i'll bring this little marker with me and we'll do some hard rocking how's that sound to you huh i said how does that sound boy our first rock is calcite and scheelite it don't look like much does it just take a look under a black light, boy. Isn't that nice? Can you see it? Now you wouldn't be able to see that normally. As you can see a calcite and scheelite popping right on through. See that? That's womanite. Don't look like much, does it? Just wait till the lights go off. Look at that, isn't that pretty? <laughs> now for some plain old silicon dioxide, which is your quartz. Come on, you know this. Yeah, that's nice, boy. That's real nice. Now for all you out there in Colorado, you got fluorite. You see that? Ooh, yeah, that's associated with gold out there. Look what it looks like under a shortwave black light. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a pretty purplish blue. Nice, huh? 
Now I get a lot of people ask me, Jeff, what's the difference between calcite and quartz? Calcite is calcium carbonate, quartz is silicon dioxide. Silicon dioxide is really, really hard, about a six to seven on Mohs. Calcite, calcium carbonate's real soft, about a three to 3.5 on Mohs. And if you're a geologist, you take a little hydrochloric acid with you out in the field, and that calcite's gonna fizz up real good when you put a drop on it. Real good. Never shine this in somebody's eyes, all right? Come on, boy, you know the difference. You're gonna hurt somebody. And it's a powerful tool if you know how to use it. Because I've seen a lot of epithermals associated with calcite here in Nevada. <sighs> now I know what you're thinking, boy. You're thinking, what does your mind look like under a black light? Ooh, I knew you'd ask that. So come on down here, boy, and take a look. All right, look at this wall right here, son of Jim. Look, right there. See that? That orange right there? That's pretty cool, huh? Another one right there. Another one right there. Yeah. And then over here, look at this. See how that turns out blue? I got some orange specks in there too. Yeah. Pretty looking blue. That one's all filled with it. Look at that. That's pretty nice. That's nice. There's another one right there. Oh, there's a blue one right there. You see that? All right, now, what's this big announcement I've been talking about? At the start of the new year, we got all kinds of new stuff going on. And we also got a couple books left, too, if you want to get in on that. But you know what? It's only available to our premium patrons, so don't get all excited. Now, if any of y'all out there want to become premium patrons, you know the drill, son. Come on, how many times have we gone over this? All right, so now let me get on out of here, because I got to finish building that, boy. So until next time, this is Jeff Williams, and who you better know who, saying you want to find that shiny, even if looking at night, get yourself a shortwave. And I'm talking about a black light. Take care, everybody.